Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Do you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes. Hi guys, how are you? Uh, let me see. I got a message here on what on. Uh, okay, that's okay, Adriana. Thank you for letting me know. Now I know. Okay. Yes. People, how are you? Hello. Fine. 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 Hello, teacher. Hello, Gabriel. How are you, Gabriel? Ah. Uh, um. Uh, I am early. <laughs> uh, higher? More or, or less? Ah, more or less, okay. Yes. Less. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> yes, okay. Good to see you again, people. Thank you for joining today's class. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. We are about to start. It's good to see you again, people. It's good to see you again. Yeah, how many people? For some reason, for some reason, I cannot see the, the gadgets here. I cannot see the options in Zoom. Uh, maybe it's an error. I cannot see uh, where to stop uh, the video, like share. I cannot see the chat. I cannot see anything. <laughs> I don't know what is happening. This is really confusing. Okay, we're gonna start. I'm going to take attendance. So say hi or present when I call you voice or say your name. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Let's do it. Adriana Maria Turcios. <clears throat> I see her there. Ana Carolina de Alonso, she just was here the first day and we don't know what happened to her. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. He's not here yet. Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Present teacher. Hello, Christian. Thank you for joining today's class. Thank you, thank you. Christopher Espitia Chipawa. Present teacher. Hi, Christopher. Thank you for being here. It's a pleasure to see you again. Yes. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Okay, we're gonna wait for her. She will join us later on. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Hi, Gabriel. Excellent. Thank you for being here. It's a pleasure to see you again. Hector Francisco Morales. Nope, he will probably join us later on. Uh, Isabel Hernandez Hernandez. Present teacher. Hello. Okay, he's here, he's here. Excellent, thank you for being here. A pleasure to see you again. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Nope, okay, he wasn't here yesterday either. So maybe he is sick or, or something. Continue. Holman, Saul Giron Sanchez. Present. Hello, Holman. Thank you for being here, right? Thank you, thank you. Uh, Laura Yasmin Portillo, Andres. Present. Laura, what happened to you yesterday? I have a problem. Oh, okay. Yes. All right, all right. It's okay, it's okay. No problem, all right. I understand. We understand. Yes. Now it's here. Lucy Natalie. <clears throat> what is okay. that? Hi, Lucy. Okay. Thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. He must be driving. He will join us later on. Nelson Antonio Rodas. Yes, teacher. Hello, Nelson. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the class into consideration and joining it. Yes. Oscar Armando Romero. No. 
Oscar is not here. He was having problems with, with his microphone yesterday. Yeah. Pamela Carolina Molina Guevara? No, okay. She's not here. She will be here later. Yes. Roberto Carlos Hernandez? Yeah, present. Hi, Roberto. Thank you for joining us. Hi. Good to see you again. Rosalina Alvarado? Well, she's always late. She's always late, right? But she's here. She's always here. Okay, I see Ivan right now and Elevaldo. Let me let me just update it real quick. Uh, Elevaldo, the third one. And uh, teacher, Hector hello, Morales, teacher. present. <laughs> present teacher. Hey, hello, Hector. Yes, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Hi. I'm here, teacher. Elivaldo. Yes, I can see you. I can see you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Very good. Very good. We're going to start by reviewing the grammar topic from yesterday's class. Okay. Hopefully, with this time, we will enhance our knowledge with this topic because it was a little difficult. Okay. I will just uh, share the presentation with you. this hold on hold on guys do you see the the the, the presentation can you see it Yes. yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Apparently, I didn't change the date. I'm sorry. I forgot. I completely forgot about the dates. I changed everything else, but not this part. All right, look, let's get to the point. The point is this the grammar time. Oh, this is a topic that we practiced yesterday. Okay. What is subject verb agreement? Uh, there were some of the quantifiers that gave us problems. We will uh, enhance our knowledge and our understanding today. Let me read the definition for subject verb, subject verb agreement. It says, it is important that your subjects and verbs agree according to number, okay? That means singular and plural, right? Yes, remember, singular, singular, plural, plural, right? That's what it is. Then it says, excuse me, then it says, you are more likely to encounter problems deciding which form of a verb to use when the, the subject is modified by a quantifier. It means that the quantifiers might affect the, the, the subject, okay? Or the number of the subject, yes. All of them, all right? And then uh, we have them over here, the first of, many of, some of, None of, a great number of, a great deal of, every one of, a number of, and, um, and sorry, an amount of, a bunch of, a lot of, or a lot of, which is easier, each, neither, enough, all, no, both, or both of, any of, and a majority of. Okay. Do you have any questions about this, this uh, quantifiers people? Yes. I mean, I'm asking about, about the meaning, okay? The meaning in Spanish. Nice. No, we're good. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, sure. Uh, could you give example using each of, one of, and the fears of? All right. I have a little problem with that. Yes. I have examples. Of, I have examples of each of in the next slide. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm going okay. to give, Thank you. I'm going to give you an example of all right now. All can be used with singular and plurals, 
okay? With singulars and plurals, yes. Look, example, all, all information, all the information, okay? All information or all the information on, look, all the information on the file is, Look, 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 all information on the file is being reported, okay? All information is something singular, all right? Because information is singular. Information cannot be plural, okay? That is not grammatically correct, okay? So in this case, we're using all with something singular and the verb form is singular. We can also use all in the, the, the plural form, all the students, all the students in class are going to speak Okay, look, now we have an example with all the students, all the students plural, okay, plural. Why? Because students is plural, okay? In this case, student is plural. All the students in class are, okay? Yes, now it's different, it's not is because we're using all the students, okay? In class are going to speak a lot of English, okay? That's an example with all, yes. Now, an example with the first of, the first of is only used in the singular form. Okay, look, the first of. Look, the first of the topics of the book, the first of the topics of the books, we mentioned the topics of the book, Okay, the, the, the book has many topics, probably 10, 10 topics, okay? But we, we are talking about one, one topic. Which topic? The first topic, okay? In that case, it is singular, all right? It is not plural. I mean, the subject is not plural. The subject is singular, okay? So the first, uh, the first of the topics of the book, okay, is, all right, is, or makes me feel, look, or makes me feel frustrated, okay? The first, the first of the topics of the book makes me feel frustrated, makes, okay? Makes is the singular form or the singular verb because we're talking about the first topics, okay? The first of the topics, sorry, yes. So in Spanish will be el primero de los, de los, de los temas, o el primer tema, right? El primer tema del libro, yes. That's what it is, right? Talking about the first, el primero, all right? Yes. Por eso estamos makes, 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 all right? Yes. Now, we're going to continue with more examples here. Here, look. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening with this? All right, look. We have an example here with each of. All right, each of. Look at it. Each of the products in the warehouse needs the inspection. Okay, look, each of the products in the warehouse needs deep inspection. Now I ask you, why are we using needs? And this is plural, right? Like what happened with the agreement? Well, 
The agreement with needs is not with products. The agreement with needs is with this. Okay? Yes? And what is each in Spanish? People. Cada. Right, right? Yes. Cada yes. uno. Mm -hmm. Exactly. In this case, is cada uno, right? In this case. Yes. Yes. Okay. So it will be, it will be like this. Cada uno de los productos necesita, en la, en la, en la almacén necesita ser inspeccionado profundamente. Okay. That's what it means in español. Teacher, teacher, yes. teacher, the, the expression is, is of, in yes. the translated in Spanish, cada uno. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you. So basically, basically, with each of the verb, the verb is going to be singular. Okay. The verb is going to be singular. If you use the verb be, it's going to be is. If you use other verbs, you have to use the s. Needs, makes, goes, etc. Okay. But don't worry, I have another example down here to, to show you. And it's this one. But this one is with neither. Again, I see, oops. This one is with neither. It is neither of the cars in the parking lot looks brand new. Neither of the cars in the parking lot looks brand new. We have looks here. Remember, when we use looks or when we use the, the S in the verb, we're talking about one singular, okay? But we have here neither of the cars. It looks plural, right? Or it seems plural, but it is not plural, it is singular. How do you say neither of the cars in Spanish people? Show me. Ninguno de los carros. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, yes. Yes, exactly, exactly, yes. That's what it is. En el, en el parqueo se ve nuevo o como nuevo. Brand new, all right? Yes. So another thing here, neither of the cars or neither is, neither is a word that looks plural, but is not plural. It is singular, okay? It is singular. So we have to use a singular verb. Okay, or a singular auxiliary. Another one here. Look. Now we're not using we're not using each of that. We're using just each. Okay, we're just using each. And now it's each doctor singular, right? Each doctor has sorry. Each doctor unavailable has to send a report. Okay. Each doctor unavailable has to send a report. Has is a singular verb because doctor is only one doctor, okay? Or it's referring to one, okay? Yes, that's why we use has. I have another example, don't worry. But this is an example is with neither, just neither. I right, look, neither laptop, in the computer room performs as needed. Neither laptop in the computer room performs as needed. As you can, as you can see, we're using performs, okay? Performance is a singular verb because we're using aquí, we're using, using neither laptop, okay? Neither laptop. How do you say neither laptop in Spanish people? Ninguna de las computadoras. Okay. Or ninguna laptop, right? Laptop. Like one. Ninguna laptop. Yes. Okay. Very good. Do you have any questions, people? Guys? No, we're good. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. 
let me do something because Zoom is not working well with me right now. It's, it's giving me a lot of problems. I don't, see, I, don't see, I don't see the options. Is it recording right now? Yes. That's yes. it. Yeah. Is it yes, recording? Teacher. Yes, sir. It's it's yeah, because I don't. I I don't see I don't see the options. Okay, there you go. Yeah. I, can, I can share again. <laughs> My bad. My Lord. Okay. Let's continue. I'm sorry. My apologies. Okay, now more more examples. These ones are plural, okay? Plural. The ones that we looked at before uh, were singular. These ones were singular. Now we have these ones that are plural. Okay. Some countries in Latin America have become a lot dangerous. Some countries, plural, all right? Plural. So the auxiliary have in this case is plural too. Okay? Have is auxiliary, plural, right? Because we have a plural subject. All right? Yes. Another one here, look. Both secretaries run late every day. Both secretaries run late every day. What is the expression run late, people? Run late. <clears throat> no? Llegar tarde, llegan tarde, right? Llegan tarde. Run late, llegar tarde, ir tarde. Okay? Yes. Llegar tarde, ir tarde. The same thing. Okay, look. The verb is run. Run, it's not with S. It's plural, okay? Why plural? Because we have secretaries, all right? Plural, plural. We're good. We're good there. Look. Another example. A bunch of reports were sent last year. A bunch of reports were sent last year. Plural, right? A bunch of reports is a subject subject is plural so we need a plural verb were is a plural verb all right so a bunch of reports were sent last year there's one more example here look none of the projects presented convinced the manager <clears throat> excuse me look <clears throat> hold on <clears throat> I don't even have water with me right now. That's not good. Okay. Look, none of the projects. Plural, okay? Plural, plural, plural. So we need a plural verb. And the verb here is plural. All right? Plural, yes. The verb is plural. So that's how it goes. None of the projects presented convinced the manager. Okay? Yes. Now. Do you have any questions? No? Okay. No, teacher. Excellent. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Okay. And the verse, uh, uh, the, uh, la forma de saber que el verbo está en, en excuse me, que es, speak uh, Spanish. Uh, yes. La forma de, de saber de que un verbo está en plural es porque termina en IS, pero es en el caso de los verbs regulares. It's right. No. No, no, ah, no, 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 no. It depends, it depends on the quantifier. No, 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 excuse me, I, 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 si estoy equivocado, huh? See, okay. secretary, some expression, some words, words. Uh -huh, yes, it depends on the on the on the on the on the word that you used before, the quantifier. Yes, the quantifier. It depends on the quantifier, and it depends on the noun too. Okay, the noun, countries, projects, see, plural, all of them plural. Mm -hmm. yes. Secretaries also plural. All right, so we use the plural verb here. 
assistance. Thank you. Yes, no problem, no problem. Okay. Now, we're going to continue practicing here. Now it's your turn to practice. Here it says, can you provide an example? We have all of them here. I have two examples. All, all my coworkers are, arrive a little late. It is true. <laughs> Me too. I arrive a little late too. It's, it's not good. Another example, none of my college, te college teachers are working as teachers. None of my college teachers are working as teachers. Okay, yes, examples there. Now, we're gonna have a few, a few minutes here to practice with this, okay? Guys, it is your turn to shine, to shine, to shine. Teacher, just two examples. No, no, one, one, I'll be, just one example. Okay. Thank you. How about, just mention the example right now. One example for each. No, each, no, no, uh, no, 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 We can, you can choose. Ah, uh -huh, choose, uh, choose one, choose one and give me your, your own example. Oh, yeah. okay, thank you. Nice. Hello. Try, try. If you make a mistake, no problem. We can fix it. Teacher, I'm going to try. Okay, excellent. Go ahead. Many of the many of the many of the employees are very busy. Okay, many of the employees are very busy. Okay, many of the employees is a plural subject, are is the plural verb, okay? Yes, we got the agreement, excellent, thank you. Another one? Hi, teacher. Yes. Some of morning are cold. Come again, please. Some of mornings, are called. Yes, you have two options there. <clears throat> you remove of maybe some some mornings, or you add the some of the mornings. Okay. okay. Yes. Choose one. Okay, and repeat it. <laughs> some mornings are called. Okay, or you can say some of the mornings are cold. Okay, it's the same, the same thing, yes. Thank you, thank you, excellent. Let's continue, yes. No, none, I don't know who say N-O-N-E, none. None, none. <clears throat> none, of course, was prepared to travel, for travel, pardon, excuse me. Okay, yes, we have the, the article missing. None of the. Of the, oh. Yes. Repeat it, please. None of, <laughs> none of the cars was prepared. Uh, prepared. Prepared, yes, repaired. For travel. Okay, let's focus, let's focus on the verb. Okay, the verb mm. form. You mentioned a singular verb, right? If I'm not mistaken. Did you use yes. a singular subject? Car, car, no, it's plural, plural. There oh, you go. Okay, yep, 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 yep. There you go. Yes, that's, that's when, we, when we make the mistake. We have to look at the uh -huh. subject, we have to look at the subject, and then we have to use the verb according to the subject number. This right? Yes, yes. This is plural, it was it for a. Uh, yes, it's some, it, looks, it looks singular, but it's not singular, it's plural, <laughs> okay? Okay, okay. Sometimes okay. it looks plural, but it is singular. It's, it's a mess. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Hector. Excellent. Let's continue. Guys, I'm waiting. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. 
dice. Okay, I'm going to choose a, a person directly then. Can you share sample? Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Eight of the students have to be in the class tomorrow. Okay. Each of the students have to be in the class tomorrow. Hello. Yes, teacher. Remember, I told you that each each of the or each is a singular quantifier. Okay. So the verb form has to be singular as well. All right. Can you repeat it, Elivato? Listen to the mistake here. Okay. Uh, repeat in the, in the sentence. Yes, repeat it, repeat it. Okay. Case of the students have to be in the class tomorrow. Okay. In that case, have is not correct. Okay. It will be have, have. each of the students has to be in ah, okay. the class tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Each is a singular quantifier, okay? Each of them, each of them is singular, all right? The same as okay. each, the same. Okay. Excellent, thank you, Elivaldo. Guys? Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead, excellent, um, thank you. Neither, neither of my friends has kids. Okay, neither of my friends has kids, yes, yes, because neither of the is a singular quantifier, okay? Neither of my friends it has kids, okay? Has kids, excellent, excellent, thank you very much. Very good, very good. Let's continue. Okay. Isabel, hello? Hello, uh, son of my partner, Arrive late today at work. Okay, okay, yeah. Some of my partners arrived late at work today. Although in that case, uh, we are not do doing a lot, a lot because arrived is in the past form. <laughs> yes, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Thank you very much for the example. Let's continue. Me, teacher. Okay, Carlos, go ahead. <clears throat> Each student must have a laptop for English class. Okay, each student have, must have a laptop for the English class. Okay, yes, yes, it is perfectly, it's per, I mean, grammatically speaking, it's perfect, uh, but must doesn't require a singular form, so it's always plural, okay? So, but it's okay, it's okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, all right. Yes, Magdaleno. Okay, um, all my days are beautiful days. Beautiful days. Okay, you can simply say all my days are beautiful. Okay, yes. <laughs> okay, yes, yes. All my days are beautiful. Okay, yes, yes. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, thank you. Let's continue. Hello, the ones that are missing. Hi, I'm waiting for you. Okay, teacher. Yes, thank you. The first of all months of the year is January. The first month of the year is January. No, the, no, no, the first month of all, no, the first of all months of the year is January. Oh, okay, yes, 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 yes. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, very good. Teacher. Yes, Hector. A lot of the, of the people see the comet. <laughs> Come again, please. Yeah, a lot of the of people see the comet. Green so, comet. Yes, in the past form. El cometa verde. The green, yes, the green comet, but it will be like the verb in the past. Ah, it's past. Uh, see. So, is so, the... so, uh -huh. a lot of, of people saw the green comet. Okay, there you go. A lot of people saw the green comet. Okay, thank you, thank you, Hector. Excellent, excellent. 
people let's continue may teacher yes, neither uh, neither on the students are i don't know if are or is either so the class repeat it repeat it yes yes neither on the students stop there stop there neither of the students guys yes. is that singular or plural Singular. Singular. Yes, it is singular. Okay. Neither, neither oh. of that is a singular quantifier. Okay. Yes. So okay. we need a singular verb. Okay. Okay. So I repeat can... it. Repeat it, Laura. Okay. Neither on the students is interested in the class. Interested in. In the class. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. There you go, there you go. Neither of the students is interested in the class. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, very good, very good. Good example. good example. Okay, let's continue, let's continue. Yes. Okay, I try. Oh, okay, okay. Mm, none of my brothers is tall, oh. only me. Excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. Really apologize for the inconvenience. Could you repeat, please? I'm sorry. None of my brothers is tall. Only okay. me. Only you. All right, all right. But listen to that. None of my brothers. None of my brothers. Is that plural or singular, people? What do you think? Uh, I think it's singular. You think it's singular, okay, okay, we're, we're okay, 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 okay. Anybody else thinks the same? Yes, teacher. Okay, people, none of that is plural, okay? None of that is plural, yes. The only ones, well, the ones that are difficult and are singular are each of the and neither of the. Those are the singular ones. Okay, they look plural, but no, they're not plural. I mean, neither of and the other one. Okay, yes. Yes, each of them, yes. Repeat it, repeat it, Isabel. Okay. None of my brother is tall. R. Only me. R. R tall, okay. yes. Oh, none you say, of my brother are tall. Okay, none of my brothers are tall. Okay, excellent. Yes, let's continue. There are some of you that have not shared an example. Please, I'm waiting. Teacher, I have a question. A question, okay. What, what is the meaning of none of? Ninguno de los. Ninguno de los. Y, um, in neither of? Ni uno. Mm, okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Or ni Thank un. You. You see, if you use mm -hmm. e neither, neither, only neither is ni uno. Okay? Mm. Yeah. The same thing, yes. Neither of the same. And one is singular and the other plural. Exactly, exactly, yes. None of? It's plural and neither of is singular. Okay, thank you. Exactly, exactly. Yes, they are confusing. They are confusing. I understand. Okay, uh, there were two people raising their hands. Okay, Gabriel. <clears throat> Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, none of the student manager to graduate. Repeat, please. Managed. None of the students manage to graduate. You said ma manages with manages, S. Sí. With S. Uh, no, 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 I'm asking, I'm asking you. Uh, or managed in the past form. Manage to. Um, okay. okay. Can you write it down, please, in the chat? 
and I must don't understand. You said none of the students, right? None, none of the students. Uh huh. Manage to come to graduate or look in the chat. Go to the chat. You said managed or manages. Manage, manage. Mana, así como está la primera manager. Okay, then yes, yes, it's fine, it's fine. It, but the past form, managed, managed. Managed. Manage. Okay. Okay. Yes, thank okay. you. Said none of the students managed to graduate. Yes, yes, it's okay, it's okay. Thank you, thank you very much for sharing. Let's continue. Is there anybody else? Hi, teacher. Hello, hello, uh, Oscar, Oscar, hi. Hey, teacher. I, I great, I great number of, I great number of, of, of people have a going to see the family today. Can you repeat? You said a great number of people are going to, I can't, I couldn't really hear you. Repeat, please. I want to see, oh, okay. I agree, a great number of people have a going to see the family today. Okay. A great number of people are going to see the family today. Yes, yes, yes. Example is perfect. Example is perfect. Yes, thank you very much. Now, uh, I don't think we have more people, right? No, no more? Teacher. Okay, yes. One more. Okay, Antonio and then... Could you give... Yes, Antonio. Okay. Could you give some example with no one of and neither? None of? To see the difference. Okay, okay. Let me do that. Please, teacher. Here, down here. Oops. No, let me change it to the, to the, to the white. Okay, do you see the whiteboard? Yes, yeah, teacher. Okay, here we go. None of that is plural, all right? Plural, none of the, let me see, cars in the, none of the cars in the garage are ready to, let me see, to, are ready, let's see like that. Look. We got none of the cars. That part is the subject. That part is the subject. And the subject is plural. So our verb has to be plural, okay? Remember, plural, plural, singular, singular, all right? Depending on, on the, the number. So in this case, none of the cars is plural. So the verb or our verb has to be plural, okay? Yes, and neither of, is similar to the to, to none of, I mean, in Spanish, right? The meaning in Spanish is similar, but neither of that is singular, okay? Neither of the cars, look, in the garage is ready. Yes? So in Spanish it will be, ninguno de los carros, okay? Ninguno de los carros, plural. En el garaje están listos. Here, ni uno, ni uno de los carros en el garaje está listo. Yes. All right? That's how it goes. Do you understand now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's 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 confusing, yes. Very confusing. Yeah, it is very confusing. 
We just have to practice and practice and practice. Okay, we were here. Uh, do you have more examples to share? I, I want to try. Okay, Isabel, yes. Okay, a great number, a great number of people uh, work in San Salvador downtown. Okay, a lot of people, a great number of people are working or are workers. Working. Worker. You can say are workers, yes, are workers in San Salvador or are working in San Salvador. Yes, but okay. the point is to hear the subject and verb agreement and this is correct. Yes, yes. All right, uh, there was another person. No? Oh, yes. yes. I, I yes. would like to try. Okay. A bunch of documents are pending. Okay. A bunch of documents are pending. Yes. A bunch of documents, plural, are pending or are plural. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Teacher. Hello. Can be can be an example um, for a, a, the sentence, a number of people hate the traffic every day. Okay. Hate the traffic. No, no, hate, hate. Hate. Because you say a great number of people, that's plural, okay? Plural, a great number of people hate mm. the traffic. Yes, yes, all right. Okay. All right. Excellent, excellent. Anybody else? If there are no people, it's okay. Okay. How can I? <laughs> I don't see anything. I don't see the, the, the options. My Lord, this is difficult. It's difficult. But hold on, give me a second here. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to continue with this part that you will find or that you can find in the book. And this part, you can find it on page number 19. Go to page number 19, go to the book on page number 19. Are you there on page number 19? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good, very good. Look, there is a lot over here, a lot to understand, a lot to read, and this is a uh, very confusing information. Okay, it's very, very confusing information. We got seven tests or seven types of tests. Sight and handling test, use test, Brand or branded test, both okay, brand or branded. Blind test, monadic method or monadic test. Sequential monadic method or sequential monadic test. And paired comparison test. Do you have any idea about these people, these tests? I have no idea. You have no idea. Brandel test is for for uh, measure the uh, smart of the people. The, how many smart is the people? No. We're, we're going to see that. You can see. You can find the information there, but the, the information is very confusing. Okay, because the definitions are very close. Okay, or or very similar. That's what I meant. Very similar. Okay, but we can try, we can try. I'm going to give you a few minutes. Oh no, hold on. Let's read. We're going to read to practice the, 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 the vocabulary and the pronunciation. We're going to read the definitions and then we're going to see if we can match the number with the definition. Let's start, help us Magdalena, read the first one. Just read to see the different the, the vocabulary and the, the yes, go ahead, go ahead. 
Okay. Um, consumers use or cite and handle one product. Then another N are asked, asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Okay, very good. Do you have any questions about this vocabulary here? Um, I understand everyone word. Okay, that's perfect. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Okay, let's continue with the second one. We're just checking the vocabulary, okay? We're checking the vocabulary. Antonio, help us with the second one. Consumers use the product in real circumstances. They use a product, sell it, handle it, and rate, and rate later. Rate it, rate it later. Rate it later. Rate it, rate it later. Thank you, teacher. Okay, all right, all right, very good. Any questions about this vocabulary? In, in rate, is rate, mm, in this case, probar, probar después? No, 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 no. Give it, give it a grade or evaluate. Ah, it's, it's rate, a rate is in this case, evaluate. Is yes. Right? yes, yes, okay. Very good, very good. Let's continue with the other one. Hector, help us read the other one, please. Help us read it. We're checking the vocabulary, okay? Number, number four, teacher? No, this one, this one. Oh, there, yeah. okay. Uh, consumers take the product to be used either as the sample, as a sample, or for an extended period, and they will usually use in it in their own home. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, do you have any questions about this vocabulary here? No. We're good. Okay, thank you. What, thank you. what oh, you said? What you said? Uh, uh, what you said about uh, either? What either means? I forgot. In, uh, in... Okay, either means oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And uh, either is always always connected or together with or either or. They are two connectors that go together to show two options, okay? Yes, either as a sample or for extended period. See, two different ideas. Okay, yes. Let's continue with the other one, the other one. Uh, Fatima, help us read, please, the other one. Fatima, hello. Part number five? Yes, one. this one, this one, this one. Customers are aware of the brand they are trying. Consumers. Says, customers. Consumers. Customers are aware of the brand they are trying. This test better reflects the real world's experience and the value, value of the brand. The word, excellent, excellent. Hey, do you have any questions about this vocabulary? No. Aware. Aware. Aware of. Aware. Aware of is that you are, you have knowledge of, knowledge of something. Okay. You have knowledge of something. You are ready for something. Or that your mind, your brain, or your conscious is ready, ready right here. Or in Spanish, atento, right? <laughs> Consciente, atento. That's what it is. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let me see, Pamela, help us with the other one, please. This one. Consumers. Um, consumers use a product, cite it, and handle it. They rate it, then they use cite handle another product and rate it the customers the customer does 
not rate both products against each other. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you for, for reading. Do you have any questions about this vocabulary down here? What, teacher, what is site? Site. Ver. Yes, yes, site. Rate it or rate? Rate, evaluate. Evaluate. Evaluate or assess. Or give it a number from one to 10. <laughs> okay. Teacher, sorry. Co customers is the same customers. No, it is consumers. Como consumidores. Uh -huh, exactly. You can say consumers or consumers. Okay. And the other one is customer. <laughs> customer. Customer clientes. Yes, customer is everyone. And consumers are your people. Uh, your people. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. The market. For, a, mar for example, uh, I have a pair of Nike shoes here. Okay, yes. I am a Nike consumer because I have Nike, a Nike, well, a, a pair of Nike shoes. But there are people that have no Nike shoes. So these people are just customers. They like the shoes, but they don't really buy them or have them or use them. Thank so you. Consumer is a person that uses the product, okay? Yes, consumer. Thank you, thank you. The other one, the last one, no, no. Christopher, help us please with the second last one. The test is good option when there are significant tactile or visual elements of the product for consumer to experience. Okay, to experience, okay. Is there any question or are there any questions about this vocabulary here? No? Okay, and the last one, the last one, help us here, please. Oh, let me see, Laura, help us with the last one. Products. Products are tested on branding, so the consumers consumers focus, consumers focuses strictly strictly on the pro, on the product characteristic and not on the brand name. Okay, and not on the brand name. All right, guys, do you have any questions here? What's but meaning on with the brand date? Uh huh. Similar. <laughs> unbranded. Unbranded. Mm -hmm. Unbranded. Yes, that's what it is. Unbranded. I don't really know what they are uh, trying to say here, to be honest. It's the first time I see the word unbranded. Unbranded. I don't really, really understand the. the, the maybe the maybe without, without brand. Probably so. Exactly. Yes, that's what I was thinking uh, of a product that has no no specific name. Okay, we know products that have specific names, but in this case are are like. Um, I think I got the idea. I got the idea. Like you test the product, or consumers test the product, but this product doesn't have a specific name, or doesn't have the name, and they just test it. That's what they are trying to say. I think that's what they are trying to say here. Okay, that the, the product has no brand yet, yet, okay? It will have a brand if the test is good or the test result is good. That's why, yes, yes, that's what it is. I got the idea now, yes, okay. Now, all right, uh, yes, I'm branded, sing, 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 sing number, all right? That's what it is, okay. Sing now, marca. Exactly, exactly, yes, yes, yes. Okay. And the other, on the other words, uh, focuses? Oh, concentration on, the concentration on, or um, concentrate on something. Yes. Yes, strictly. Strictly, like, yeah. Like uh, when you put pressure on you, you are strict with you, okay? You push yourself. That's what it is. Estrictamente, yes. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Okay, thank you. Okay, now it is your turn. Guys, go ahead. Try to tell me which test, well, put the number in the right definitions. Okay. And uh, mm -hmm. will you excuse me a moment, please? I need to bring some water. I don't really have water nearby, so I need to go outside. Just give me a minute, please. No <clears throat> problem. Okay, I'm here, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. That was fast. <coughs> if you still have questions, feel free to ask me, because I'm here. Quick reminder, keep working on the platform, okay?
Guys, are you done? Just to share. Uh, I finish. Okay, okay. Excellent, excellent. <clears throat> okay now the next uh activity is this one we're gonna go excuse me i don't see this i'm trying to find this thing i don't really find it Continue, continue. I'm just doing something here, okay? I'm gonna give you a couple of more minutes. Okay, now, you have probably finished, I'm not really sure. If, you've, if you haven't finished, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Now, we're gonna go, we're gonna go to the specific groups or to individual groups, and we're gonna have pairs, pairs, all right? In the breakout rooms, we're gonna be in pairs. I want you guys to do a quick, quick comparison, okay? A quick comparison of your answers, okay? Yes? Do you understand what we're gonna do? All right? Yes, good. Yes. If you have them all, all different, then we're gonna have a problem. Oh uh, no, okay, let's see, let's see what happens, okay? This is a quick, a quick thing, okay? Let's go, let's go. Let's do this, let me just.
system. I don't understand why I don't see these things. Hello. Okay, he left. Excellent, excellent. Let's go. Let's go see what's going on. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, but I need to go right to you. So for me, it's size and handle test. Yes, yes, yes. So it's number one. Yes, number one. Okay, in the, in the next, what do you have? Hello? And the next and the number three? Uh, and the number three, I put a monadic method. Monadic. The number five. Mm. Hello, hello, Francisco. Hi, hey, teacher. Ivan is not here, right? Uh, I think, but uh, I think uh, he's. I think he's working. He have a problem with the internet. No, I think he's working. I think he's working. Ah, it's working. Yes. Oh my goodness! Don't, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, let me send you to another group. Okay. 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 Thank you, teacher. Yes, no problem. There you go. Guiding and handling test. Mm -hmm. Supuestamente de verlo y manejarlo. Entonces, yes. el se, la segundo concepto is a customer use the product in real circumstances. They are a product, sign it, handle it, and rate it later. O sea, que ellos se lo llevan y lo prueban. Mm -hmm. Yes. Por eso But es... The... Yes, but you you, you said it is 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 when you see and you handle, and the 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 penultimo, ¿cómo se dice? The second last one. The second last one. Yeah, thank you. Is they say the test is good option where there are significant tactile or visual elements to the product of the product for consumers to experience. This is a they are keywords to to know the the testing could be the site and handle. Do you have similar answers? No. In like, three different. Ah, three, three different. different. Yes, okay. only three different. Oh, you are you think you think the same, huh? Yes. Hey, you look, you look similar. Are you are you sister and brother? No. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Continue, guys. Excellent. We're gonna go back soon. Okay. Hi. How is everything here? Did you Consumer use or sign and handle one product. Then another in our asset to indicate it which of the today prepared, sería 
would be Hi, teacher. Hello, I'm here. Uh, we're yeah. Confused. We're uh, confused with the with the different test. Uh, I'm sorry, Coleman. It's it's really hard to hear you. I know. I think your microphone is away from your mouth, or I don't know. Uh, we're confused with the. Oh, okay. Test. Uh. Find a comparison test. Yes. Um, for me, for me, uh, it will be consumer use of science handled one product, then another and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Let me show you. Yes, yes, yes. Consumers use or cite or handle one product. One. Yeah. Then another. Two, okay, two, uh -huh. and are asked to indicate which of the two, again, two, they prepare. Paired yeah. comparison test. Yes. Yes, Coleman. And the number seven. Yes, number is seven. The... It's over there. This number seven is over there in the first one. Okay. Yes, paired comparison test, consumers use our site and handle one product, etc. Then another, and that's how it goes. Okay, continue guys. Okay. Put another okay. one here. Because they know which brand is the number uh -huh, number three. How many? How many do you have similar? Okay. Um. No, Elivaldo has problems with his connection. Okay. And Gabriel didn't finish. Okay. So oh, okay. We are. We are we're just we're just comparing. Okay. We're just comparing. We're gonna go. We're gonna go back to the main session to to see the answers. Okay. In like three or five minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hello, teacher. We finished that. How many? How many similar did you have? A lot of. Okay. Okay. You finished? Yep. Okay. Yep. Let's see. We're gonna go. We're gonna go back to the main session to see the real, the real answers. Okay. If you got them correct, perfect. Let's go back. Okay. Let's go back. Yes. How, how do you say as a trampa? What do you mean? That's cheating. Huh? That's, that's cheating. That's cheating. Could do you write in the chat, please? Sing. That's cheating. Ah, cheating. Como una infidelidad. No, yes. The thing is that uh, cheat is a, a, a lie. Lie. Lie to a person, lie in exams, for exams. Yes. Ah. Or in a competition of anything. Yes, the cheating. Yes. Yes. It okay. means cheating. It means a Teacher, I chilling. You finished. Chilling. <laughs> ah. Chilling, chilling. On your wife? <laughs> On your wife? Nice. <laughs> Oh no, I we were ha I was having a very good conversation with with some people with Magdaleno and with Oscar. He was talking about cheating and that he was he was cheating on his wife. I don't know what happened there. He mentioned. <laughs> oh, okay, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's not real. 
<laughs> okay, guys. Now that we have we have seen the the we have compared and kind of gotten the idea of the tests, we're going to see each and we're going to compare with the real answers or the real definitions. Now we got the first one over here. Okay, but we're not going to go with that one. Well, yeah, let's do this one. Let me see. No, 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 no. We're going to read the definition and then you're going to give me your possible answers or, the, or your answers and the, probably the possible answers. Now, let's do it. Can somebody read? Hello? Okay, Oscar, go ahead, please. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I read. Yes. Okay. Consumer use or thing and handle one product. Then another and our ask us to indicate which of the two they prefer. Okay. What is your answer, Oscar? Uh, I, I think the number seven. Sorry? Fire and comparison test. Which one, I'm sorry? Uh, number seven, teacher. Okay, number seven, number seven. Here, the comparison, comparison test. test. Okay, uh, guys, do you agree with Oscar's answer? Yes. 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 Okay, yes, exactly, exactly. That one is number seven. The first cup, the first definition belongs to the seventh <laughs> term. There you go, seventh. Uh, can anybody uh, help me read the second definition? Yes, my yes, buddy. Oh, thank you. Uh, then Christian, then Christian, after, after. Uh, the second. Yes, the second one. Uh, consumers use the product in real circumstances. They use the product side and there is the, the they use a product, say it, handle it, and rate it later. Rate it later. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which one do you think is the answer, Magdaleno? Or what is your what is your answer? Hello. So could be uh, number five, a monadic method. Okay. All right. Let me see who thinks I like people. Do you agree with his answer? Yes. I agree. Yes. You agree? All right. Yes. Yes. The monadic method is about using the product. All right. Seeing it, handling it, and also giving it a grade or evaluating it. Yes, that's the six, uh, number five, right? Yes. Thank you, thank you very much for, for your participation. Um, Christian, yes, Christian, I'm sorry. <laughs> Christian wanted to participate. <laughs> no problem, Christian. Consumers take the product to be used here as a sample of, a sample or for an extended period. Extended. And they will usually extend it period, as they will usually use it in their own home. All right, all right. Very good. Which one is the answer for you, Christian? I think that is number two, use test. Number two, use test. Guys, do you agree with his answer, with Christian's answer? <clears throat> yes. Yes, yes, okay. Yes, it's number two over here, the second one. Yes, okay, that's the one, that's the one. Let's continue with the other one. Is there a person that would like to read the other one? Okay, I'm going to choose a person then. Uh, Holman, help us, please. Help us, help us. Right. Uh, 
cost, cost, co, consumers. Consumers. Are, consumers are aware of the brand. They are trying, trying. This the this this better reflects the real world experience and the evaluate value of the brand. Uh, number three. Number three. People, what do you think? Of, what do you think about Holman's answer? Is it right? Is it wrong? I agree to you. Okay, you agree? You agree? agree? Yes. Yes, this one is number three. Brand test. Okay, or branded test. You say, look, it's they know, they know, okay? They know. They know about the brand. Let's continue. Uh, thank you, thank you for reading. Let me see down here. Roberto, can you help us read, please? Uh, consumers use a product site it and handle it they rate it then they use site under another product and rate it the consumers does not rate but product against each other okay all right all right roberto your answer I think the number four. Number four blind, is blind, blind test. test. Blind test. I don't think so because look, it says here consumers use, they use the product. So they can see the product. And here is blind. Okay. Like, blind. like blind, they don't see, or, or blind, they don't know. In this case, it's blind, they don't see, or blind, they, they don't know, all right? Yes. So it's not that one, okay? But it's okay, Roberto, thank you, thank you. Guys, okay. what is the answer here? Number six, teacher. Number six? I agree, I agree with Fatima, number six. Yes, yes that's the sequential, the sequential monadic method, yes. Okay, you have one product, then? You evaluate this one, then you pick another product and you repeat the cycle. Okay, it's using and evaluating, using, evaluating, okay? Yes, positively or negatively. Let's move on, the other one. Uh, Gabriel, help us, Gabriel. <clears throat> Hello, teacher. Hello, help us read, please, this test. This, this test is a good option when there are significant tactile tactile mm -hmm. or visual element of the product for consumer to experience. Okay, all right. Thank you for reading. Now mention your answer too. Number. Body comparison test. Pair the comparison test. Well, no, because that one is number seven, number one, the first definition. The first definition is that one. We finished it. Look. It cannot be that one, right? Guys, which one do number you think four. it is? Sorry? Number four. Number four? Blind test? No. No, 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 no. no. Guys, this one is number? Number one. Number one. Number one. Look here. Okay, number one. And of course, the last one is number, <clears throat> excuse me, blind test. Okay, number four. Let me read that one. Look, products are tested unbranded. It means, that's why it is called blind, okay? In this case, like I told you, the, the customer doesn't know the brand, okay? They just use the product without knowing uh, to which brand it belongs. So here, it is number four. Okay. How many do you have correct? All of them? Some of them? Some of them. 
Nine, ten, eight. It's okay. It's okay. Ten. All right. All right. Eleven. Five, five correct and two wrong. <laughs> all right. All right. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Pamela says eleven. <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 I have all correct. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Fantastic. People, thank you very much for your effort and your participation. That is amazing. Right. Let's continue down here with part number seven. But we're going to read number one. Here, look. Retake the new product idea your group presented in unit number one. Do you remember that activity? No, teacher. <laughs> no. Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay. I understand. Does, does anybody remember or anybody else besides Antonio? Kind of? I, I remember the project with the new business, right? Sorry? It was the project about a new business. I remember something like that. A new product, a new product, yes. Okay. It was it was to come up or to make up a new product. Okay. And some of you, some of you were were uh, presenting those those activities. Yes. Uh, can anybody share one activity, please? Anybody? Can you look for one, one of those activities or that activity? Can you look for it on the computer and share? I, I don't understand you. So if you have if you have the file of the activity that we presented a lot in unit number one, if you have the file, can you please share that here on the screen? I think so. Do you have one? Can you share, please? Here, here. I will search for. I, I can do it, teacher. If you have one right now, go ahead. There are two Christians. <laughs> this one, teacher? I remember that this is the which one? I don't see I'm sharing, sorry, wait, wait. Can you stop? There you go. Can you go to the next one? Yes. Okay. People look. Christian is going to send this. Can you send it through through WhatsApp, please? Yes, yes, I can do it. Go ahead, go ahead and do it. Okay. Gonna, I think it's not this one. No, it's not this product. This is the other one from unit number one. I'm sorry. Not this one, not this one. Is the activity, uh, is the activity in which we, we made or we uh, made up a, a product, a new product? This one, no. This one is the SWOT analysis. Yes. <laughs> sorry. I I think so. I have uh, a new product. Ah, that is. Oh, sorry. Sorry. What did I do? Take it easy. Okay, no, not, not nothing. Nobody has it. The, I think that this is teacher. We put some analysis here, but the fifth one, I, I didn't, I didn't, I don't have the fifth one. Okay, okay, that's okay. Magdalena, yes. I have a presentation for the new product of a cleaning service. Okay, go ahead, show me that one. It's okay, it's okay. Thank you so much for sharing. Look, people, uh, go to the next one, please. The last one, the last, I know that it's the same, it's the same, uh, the same analysis, the same uh, sort analysis. But go to the last one, go to the last one.
That one, that one, that one, this one, this one, this one. Yes. Okay, people, read, read okay. about the idea. Read about the idea of the product here or the service. Okay, and then, and then, yeah, please, share through WhatsApp. Okay, of course. Yes. So, guys, everybody, everybody is going to use this one, okay? The same one, okay? We're going to use this one. We're, not, we're going to have a group activity mm -hmm. and we're going to work on that presentation. Mm -hmm. Or not, not the presentation, the idea, okay? The idea, the idea of the service. And we're going to use mm -hmm. what the book says. Look, there it says, we have the activity. The activity is the cleaning service. Cleaning service is the product. We're going to discuss two testing strategies mm -hmm. to fit the characteristics of the product, okay? Or in this case, the service. It's and, and then it says, brain the, sorry, brainstorm the advantages of testing the product using the strategies the group have selected. I mean, your, your strategies, okay? Decide on the best strategy to test the new product. Okay, the service that you have. Okay, do you understand the activity? People, no. Let me sh let me explain to you again. Magdaleno sent a document to the group. Okay, it's in the group. That's a, a presentation. You're going to see the idea. Okay, the service, the, 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 the product here in the, in the presentation is cleaning service. Okay, cleaning service. So you're going to create, no, not create, hold on. Okay, we're here. You're going to discuss two testing strategies to fit, to fit the characteristics of the cleaning service. Yes, or, or the idea of the cleaning service. Then brainstorm, well, after you finish with the, with the discussion of the two strategies to test, two of these ones, okay? Two of these ones, these ones, these ones. You're going to choose two strategies here or two types of tests, okay? For the cleaning service, then you're going to continue with the brainstorming. You're going to brainstorm the advantages of testing the product using the strategies you have selected, okay? Or the group have selected, that's what it says here. And then you're going to decide on the best strategy to test your cleaning service, okay? Do you understand now? Okay, very good. So, so teach. <laughs> Okay, okay. Don't worry. I'm going to be I'm going to be in, in every group to help you, okay? We're gonna have, let me see at we're gonna work on that activity for 10 minutes. And uh, they're gonna be just five groups. Let's go. I'm going to be monitoring you and helping you. Let's go, let's go. I'll be seeing you there. Let me see. Oh no. Isabel, hello. Did you get, uh, no, 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 no.
es que estoy, Ah, estoy en el cel. um, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, but I think with this, um, I don't know which one because The, the it, company is, is the service, right? yes, it's for uh, it's a company for cleaning. Okay, Cleaning, service in cleaning. offices, schools, apartments, restaurants, anything like that. And how 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 do you how how can you test this this service? That's the question. How can you test this service? And Only you, when they use. And you're going Only to use. The, okay. Now mention mention two of the tests that we have uh, learned in the book. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Go on, go for on. me, is for me is only the use that because it because it's a, a service we can cite it on handling and compare. Well, compare, compare. We can we can compare with other other cleaning services. Yes, she choose two, and then you can choose the best one. Okay. Okay. Yes, perfect. I will see you later. Okay, yeah, just doing this quickly. Va, entonces, según eso, vamos a ver ahí cualquiera de las, okay. de las opciones. Let me help you real quick. You're going to test, you're going to test a cleaning service idea, okay? No, se me fue el corazón por un momento y no es posible que se me apague la compu en este momento. Sorry, sorry. Okay, again, you have the plan. The plan is cleaning service. Okay, and now I ask you, which, which, which service, excuse me, which test or which method can you use to test the cleaning service, okay? And you're going to select two of them, two, okay? Yes. Mm. I use experienced customers, maybe? But you need to choose one of the methods here. How can you how can you have experience with the cleaning service? How can you test which one? Branded test, blind test, monadic, sequential, pair comparison? You tell me. For me, is number one, site and hundred test. And if, um, you can discuss that, you can discuss that. You can talk about it, yes. Why that? Why you do that? I'm gonna go to another group. A veces el pide que Ah, aquí le vamos a preguntar al teacher. Teacher. Yes. Eh, we're going to present it a uh, uh, PowerPoint or just reading. No, no. Just read the it's ideas. A, it's only in the opinion. Read, read the idea, read the idea. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Read the idea. Thank you. Who is the advantage with the use use test? Use the better one of the advantage is the consumer can can, uh, can use the product or can uh, voy a buscar cómo se dice esto.
I think maybe we can use two. Um, the the branded test because they are a lot of cleaning companies and we have to to show the value of the brand that we are offering with this service maybe can be branded test i don't know what you think uh, we, it says there, it says that we can use N use test. N, no. Yes, A, A, la A, only the A. N, no. Yes. Sorry, teacher, could you explain to me why? Sorry? Could you explain to me why is uh, a in lugar de an instead an? Oh, yes, the sound. When you pronounce the word use is not a, a vowel, it's a consonant. You. Yes. Um, use. It's con J, eh, like, yes. I understood. It's okay. Thank you. We can use a use test. And in your opinion, you can use two branded, branded test, is right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I think. You can say brand test or branded test. Branded. Don't you see? Don't you think? Because we have to show the value of the brand because there are a lot of cleaning service companies. Actually, we can use that and you can use uh, paired comp right, comparison tests too because you have to compare to, to brands. Maybe the competence with the competitors. Yes. Competitors. And maybe a, maybe um a, a, a company can can test two two cleaning service and no and then uh, say with which one they are going to work. So we can, so put. Thank you. Thank you for providing the good products. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is La prueba de uso, vea. Es la prueba de uso. Ajá. La prueba de uso. O, o pro, pro use. Y método. Monadic. Que es. Que el monadic. El otro del Monadic. Monadic. Ah, espérame, espérame, espérame. Porque el Monadic estaba poniendo que es un. Ajá. Es el. Ah, espérame. Dice que es consumer use the product. Ajá, en right circumstance. Eh, igual, yo siento que. Only, only. Taste taste is for for uh, put into mount and, and, and make and, and taste the flower. Uh -huh. But for 
probar un producto de limpieza, ¿cuál est. sería el verbo? Test. Test. Ah, test, test. 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 Ajá, ajá. El mismo, eh, mismo test sería probar también. Ajá. Gabriel, ¿es test? <ríe> ah, pues entonces, ¿cómo era? Eh, 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 porque lo queremos probar en circunstancias reales, ¿verdad? Entonces sería taste. Test. Taste the product. Taste. Taz, ¿Cómo es? Test. 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 The product eh, in real circumstances, I don't know. Yeah, real circumstances or in uh, yeah, yeah, real life, real life circumstances. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Real life circumstances. Okay. Entonces, este, Gabriel, eh, taste. Taste is product. The product. In real. Mm -hmm. Como circunstancias. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se escribe? Circum. Circunstances. It's a difficult word, yes. Mm -hmm. There you go. Circumstances. Circumstances. I think. Okay, we're gonna go back to the main session right now. Okay, let's go back. Don't worry, don't worry, okay? I'm just gonna uh, take a picture and tomorrow we share what you have. You have the idea, tomorrow okay, we share sure. the idea. Okay. Okay. Uno de Ajá. Eh, ¿Podemos terminar mañana o tenemos que terminar ahora, Ticho? No, no, no. No. You have the idea right now. Yes, you have the idea, right? Yes, okay. yes, we have. Okay. And you are going to, you can share that idea tomorrow, okay? Don't worry, don't worry. We're going ah, to okay. we're gonna go back to the main session right now. We have to go back. Yes, let's go. Okay, okay. Thank you, Thank Ticho. You. Hey, thank you. Gracias, Gabriel. Buenas noches. Okay. Good, good night. See you tomorrow. Good willing, me dijo el profesor ayer. But, <laughs> good willing. God, God, God willing. God willing. God, God willing. God willing. Si Dios quiere. Exactly, exactly, yes. Okay. So, Have a good night. Good night. We're going to see you there in the, back, in the main session. Yeah. Let's go. Hello. <clears throat>Okay, people, we have run out of time. We have run out of time and uh, well, we just have to go and take attendance. Uh, tomorrow we're going to share the ideas. I think, or I believe that we finished today. So tomorrow we're just going to share the ideas that you have, okay? Yes, I already have the picture of the groups. So I'm just gonna be selecting the groups to share the ideas. Let me take attendance and then we will be free to go. But just to mention that today we're gonna have to need Lucy, no, no, Laura to stay. Laura, yes. Can you stay after class? Yes, thank you, thank you so much. Yes, yeah, I'm sorry I said. All right, uh, Adriana Maria Turcios, couldn't be here because she was at, still at the office or working. Anna, this person, I don't know what happened to her. Carlos Eribaldo Abrego. Yes, I'm sure. Christian Alexander Arevalo. 
Present. Christopher Spiti Achipawa. Present teacher. Fatima Denise Aguilar. Present teacher. Yes. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Hector Francisco Morales. Present teacher. Isabel Hernández Hernández. Present. Frozen. Okay, David. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present. Holman Saul Girón. Present. Laura Yasmin Portillo. Present. Lucy Natalie Juárez. Present. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio de Rodas. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero. Present teacher. Pamela Carolina Molina. Present teacher. Roberto Carlos Hernández. Present. Present. And yes, yes. And Rosalina Alvarado. Guys, well, thank you for being here. Thank you very much for joining today's class. It was a pleasure. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Have a good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. Good, Thank you. good night. Have a good bye, night. Bye. bye. Good night. Good night, everybody. Let me drink some water. <clears throat> Hi. Hi, Mister. I think uh, I think Rosa is not really out there. She's not there. Okay, Laura. Okay. Thank you for staying. Uh, yes. Do you have any questions about today's class or the previous classes or about any English topic? No, I don't. Don't have. Um, for me, the class is a very um interesting because we are all to participate and it's a it's a great for me okay okay tell me how uh, i mean besides the class how do you practice your english no no entendí la pregunta teacher how, how do you practice your english besides the class no in my work um bien poco bien poco um i um i am uh tr bueno realizo traducciones the documents and the legal document mm -hmm. okay it's All only right. that but the practice with pronunciation now okay i understand i understand yes and you need to practice okay I believe, I believe that you want to speak, right? Okay. Yes. Okay, yes, you have to uh, practice more, right? No, I mean, in the class you practice, yes. But I mean, uh, outside, like at work, you, you, should, you should practice, okay? Listen to music in English, watch videos, movies, series, whatever you do, always do it in English, yes. And, that's okay. to, and that is going to help you a lot, yes. Especially you because you have the vocabulary here, okay? You just need, you need the construction of expressions or the constructions of, of, of uh, paragraphs here, like with the fluency, you know, to speak with fluency, yes. So you need to, like, how can I say this? receive uh, nuclear bombs mm -hmm. of English here every day, yes, every day. Peter, I have study, studied in the Centro Cultural. Oh, really? In my bachelor, mm -hmm. but it's a, well, it's a, um, fue como una experiencia bien, bien como difícil, but, porque mis bases de inglés eran muy malas. Mm. 
Entonces, ahora que he estado en clases. Sí, sí. Ah, ok. Pero ahora que he estado en clases, o sea que luego de graduarme y todo de la universidad, regresé ahorita con ustedes. Y sí no me siento tan perdida, la verdad. Uh -huh. Pero lo que usted menciona, o sea, no tengo mucho vocabulario porque mi base de inglés en el cultural para graduarme fue muy mal. O sea, fue así como que llegué y me hablaron en inglés y fue como, Dios mío, ¿qué me están hablando? Sí. Pero considero que el, el oído se desarrolla mucho y al final yo le puedo entender tal vez no el 100% de lo que me hice, pero sí voy como armando las ideas. Sí, sí. Eso me ha ayudado mucho, pero realmente el vocabulario, o sea, ahora que regresé, no tengo mucho, porque igual no lo practico, ¿verdad? Pero cuando estudié anteriormente en el cultural, sí para mí fue como bien, bien complicado, la verdad. Ok, I understand, I understand. Okay. Sí, sí, en ese caso le entiendo completamente. Le comento que usted tiene vocabulario, sí, ya lo tiene. Lo que pasa es que no lo puede usar. Usar, es eh, usar, que... usar, usar con, como podría decirle, con fluidez. Y usarlo sí puede, se puede usar, mm -hmm. pero no con la fluidez. Por eso es muy sí, importante. La... Perdón, <ríe> dígame. Sí, la verdad que, o sea, por lo menos cuando estudié en el cultural, tuve compañeros que habían vivido en Estados Unidos, mm -hmm. que sus papás los habían metido a cursos libres, que tal vez el idioma se le hacía más fácil, pero yo no. O sea, fue así como me tenía que memorizar las cosas, eh, me rebuscaba demasiado, ¿verdad? Porque realmente me costaba un montón. Pero ahora que estoy acá con ustedes, la verdad que ha sido una experiencia muy bonita porque somos muchos, pero no todos sabemos lo que nos están explicando, ¿verdad? Sin embargo, tenemos una idea por lo que le mencionaba, ¿verdad? Creo que en el caso que usted es el maestro, creo que tiene la capacidad como de irnos hablando tranquilamente y eso nos hace sentirnos muy cómodos, la verdad. Ok. I, la verdad sí I, me ha gustado, la verdad me ha gustado mucho. You make me happy, yes. Yes, uh, I, I'm going to send some information to you in the chat. Important, you, you mentioned a word. Usted dijo una palabra antes y la, la, la expliqué ahí en el chat. <laughs> yes. Muy confusa las palabras, sí, sí. Yes. Okay. Ah, ok, high school. Ah, high school. Okay. Bachelor, es correcto la palabra bachelor, sí, existe. Pero ahí está, mire, lo que significa. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. yes. Yes. Okay. yes. No. Sí, necesito ir a desempolvar todas las palabras. Exactamente, eso es lo que le, le, le comento. Con la música, las películas, las series, o todo lo que escuche o vea, todo lo que le entre a su oído en inglés, así es como va, ah, todo va, va a empezar a ver a, las arañas, el polvo, todo eso, y podrá ya hablar con fluidez. Le digo por uh -huh. experiencia propia. Yo jamás fui alguien fluido en inglés. Al principio, en la universidad, Sí, entendía. La gramática era mi pasión. Es mi pasión. Sé mucha gramática, me gusta. Y me enfocaba solo en eso, en la gramática, escribir y escribir. Yo podía escribir, o puedo, puedo escribir, sí, puedo escribir. Pero mi, mi debilidad era hablarlo. Entonces, estuve, tengo un maestro, aún tengo un maestro que es mi amigo, y él me, él me decía, hey, ¿por qué no ves series en inglés, películas en inglés? Sin ningún subtítulo, me decía él. Sin nada, solo verlas con el idioma original de, de Estados Unidos o de otro país que habla inglés y verás cómo tu oído se, se, se obliga a entender. Sí. Se obliga a entender sí. lo que estás diciendo. Y eso que vos escuchás lo vas a producir. Así me dijo él, dicho y hecho. Dicho y hecho. Okay. Me puse... Bueno, voy a regresar entonces. <risas> a, a mí me gustaba ver mucho anime. Entonces... Lo que hice fue buscar el anime en, 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 en inglés, en audio inglés, porque si hay anime en audio inglés, entonces así lo veía, con audio inglés. Me costaba mucho entender lo que decían, pero poco a poco, poco a poco fui entendiendo. Ahora cualquier película, serie, la puedo ver en inglés sin ningún problema, porque mi oído pues se adaptó. Y luego... Sí, el oído se adapta mucho. También aprendí a decir las mismas palabras, a repetirlas y decirlas. O sea, que escucho y, produ y uh, escucha y produce. Uh -huh. Eso es lo que usted debe, debe hacer. Uh -huh. sí. Bueno, me llevo esos consejos. Entonces, muchas gracias. 
Ok, un placer, un placer, Laura. Thank you very much. Gracias bueno. por, por quedarse. Okay. Buenas noches. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.